Welcome Academy members, SAG-AFTRA members, visual effects professionals, and industry guests. I am CCH Pounder, an actor. And I am John Nelson, a visual effects supervisor. Yes. Together we are the co-hosts for tonight's presentation on acting and performance capture. This technique enables actors to inhabit new characters and tell stories never thought possible before. Tonight we will show some of the latest examples of acting and performance capture. Great performances reach you emotionally. And to talk about performance from an actor's perspective, our co-host, CCH. Thank you. Well, there's so much to talk to about tonight, I just want to get directly to the point. Here's the deal. I started off in the theater, no microphone, developing your chest cavity so that your voice could reach the last seat in the house. It was enhanced by stage props, costume, stage manager. And these were all the things that helped us tell the story. And then we moved to film and television, suddenly learning to become small, but in fact much bigger internally. Assisted by camera, microphones, long shots, close-ups, and these technical marvels helped us to tell the story. And then by chance, I happened to get a job in Avatar. I am to be nine feet tall, <laughs> blue, with a tail. <laughs> and I'm not voice acting, it is me. Tonight, that magic is going to be explained to you by John Nelson and all the marvelous technicians, supervisors, brilliant IT geek guys tonight. Here we go. I'm here to speak about uh, performance capture from the visual effects side, uh, but before I start, I just want to have a shout out to Michael Tronic and Joe DeGenero for that, uh, that really awesome open reel at Rock the House. Thank you, guys. So performance and technology have always been intertwined in the movies, especially in visual effects. Uh, from Max Fleischer's invention of the rotoscope over 100 years ago, which brought us Snow White uh, to the beautifully tracked CGI of Ex Machina. We have always wanted to extend performance with the creative use of technology. This was seen in the photographic motion studies of Edward Mybridge, which evolved through the computer revolution uh, uh, to become computer tracking and human motion capture. This combined with CGI characters created digital doubles, which you might remember first seeing in uh, um, at Titanic where those those people jumping into the water in the background were really motion captured stunt doubles. Uh, as the technology uh, evolved to capture not only the body, but to capture the face, uh, motion capture became performance capture. Uh, with uh, professional actors driving the performance of photorealistic CGI rendered avatars. Films like Avatar, Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, King Kong, Benjamin Button, War for the Planet of the Apes, and Blade Runner 2049 have taken these digital characters to new places. Sometimes the effect is very subtle, like returning an actor back to a young age to deliver a performance. Sometimes it's inhabiting a character from another planet who might be 10 feet tall. Sometimes it's helping an animal give an intuitive performance only through verbal grunts, facial cues, and body language. As for box office appeal, 14 of the 20 highest grossing films worldwide have employed characters such as these. It all starts with a performance and then is refined creatively through visual effects and animation. Now let's hear from some of the actors, directors, and producers who have created such characters and performances. <laughs> 